But there comes a point in time where enough is enough. You're a big girl and you're making choices and decisions and you, not your dead father, are solely responsible for these choices and decisions. When you blame another person for your own actions, choices, decisions, and for their consequences, this is alloplastic defense. Alloplastic defense is, a, is pathological because we should all have an internal locus of control. We are in the driver's seat and we put the fuel in the car and we then drive the car. And if we get drunk before because father tortured us, then the accident is our responsibility. Can you go to court and say, I got drunk and had an accident because my childhood was horrible? No, you can't do that. You'll be held accountable. Do you why? You, you'll pay the full price. Unfortunately, the, the environment online encourages you to think of yourself as a victim, not as someone who had been victimized. Victim is an identity. Someone who had been victimized is someone who has a life, an identity, personality beyond and above her incident of being victimized. You ask me what's the best way to move forward is to accept the helplessness that was involved in having been victimized. Your father had died a long time ago. In your mind, he had died much longer before that. And yet, he is more alive now than ever. Because you seem to imply he is the one who had determined the trajectory of your life. He is an introject. He's inside your head. He's navigating you. He's in control. You need to get rid of this. It's bad thinking. You're not a victim, remember. It's bad thinking. You're someone who had been victimized. It's bad thinking. You are not a victim. You are someone who had been victimized. It's bad thinking. You are not a victim. You are someone who had been victimized. You are someone who had been victimized. Someone who had been victimized.